How can you protect yourself from bad guys? Find out in our new video. Sometimes you can feel unsafe even when you're at home. Here comes a thief breaking into your house, thinking this <laughs> is going to be so easy. Tights on my head? Just like a real professional. And here is the first witness. She needs to be neutralized. I think she didn't even notice me. She was too caught up by a sad scene in a movie. Do you want an apple? Thank you, not right now. Actually, I'm on a mission. You can watch your melodrama later. Ah, somebody help. What are you going to do to me? Well, first, I'll tie your hands. The villain uses an ordinary plastic cable tie. No matter how hard you fight back, it'll hold your hands tight. Calling a friend for help won't work either. The thief sticks tape over her mouth. How can I get free? Wow, that's lucky. Today, I'm wearing lace-up sneakers. Pull one of the laces under the tie. Toss it over and tie it to the second lace. Now move your legs, grinding through the thin plastic. It doesn't take very long. Finally, I'm free at once. It's time to take your voice back. But pulling off the tape all at once is very painful. Oh, I wasn't expecting to wax my face today. Our next life hack will help remove the tape without any pain. Rub the tape with your finger so that the glue layer warms up a little. And easily remove the tape. Now it doesn't hurt at all. And your skin won't be irritated. In the meantime, the thief got to your friend. As usual, she's looking out of the window and cleaning dishes. Let's check how clean they are. They are perfect. Mr. Clean would be proud of you. Wait, why are you giving me plates at all? You must have me confused with someone. This is a robbery. The thief covers her mouth with his hand and drags her away. The bad guy ignores her screaming and ties her hands with a rope. How long do I have to sit here attached to this shelf? Don't try to chew through the rope, you'll just waste your energy. Instead, try to stretch the knots in different directions and pull at least one hand out. Then easily take the other one. While you're being tied up, spread your arms just slightly and tense up. That'll make undoing the knots much easier. Just make sure the bad guys don't suspect anything. The thief has bigger things to worry about. He's more interested in our closets and drawers. Money, jewelry, valuables. He already considers everything he finds his own and puts it in his bag. The thief searches on the shelves and goes through the books. When suddenly, he sees a teddy bear on the stool. Wow, I had the exact same one when I was little. It was exactly the same. Aw, it's so cute. The thief leaves the house. The deed is done, which means you can take off your gloves and mask and turn into a regular passerby. The bad guy runs away from the crime scene, but all of a sudden, he starts remembering his past. A bright memory from his childhood appears in his mind. A bear and sweet popsicles. The teddy bear is a messy eater, but that's okay. We were so happy together. I need this bear, no matter what. The thief turns around and runs back. The frightened girls come out of their rooms. They can't be sure that the thief won't come back. Criminals always return to the crime scene. And this time, he's about to get a very warm welcome. The girls go outside. For the first idea, they will need balloons and tape. Attach a piece of double-sided tape to the door. Remove the protective layer. Inflate the balloons and fasten them to the tape. Stick ordinary tape on top. Unwind the reel and fasten the tape to the handle of the gate. Someone is about to get a very loud surprise. And here comes the thief. He throws the gate wide open and bang! Well, looks like somebody's been expecting me. Oh, now you're in trouble, girls. 
but it won't be that easy to enter the house this time. Put a large piece of plastic on the floor. Get some double-sided tape. Attach strips of tape to the plastic. Tear off the protective layer. Take some saran wrap and regular tape. Stretch the wrap over the doorway. Secure the edges with tape. One girl picks up a bowl of water and gets on a stool. Meanwhile, the other girl is preparing a new trap. Take a cardboard box and a utility knife. Cut one of the sides. Cut an oval-shaped hole on the other side. Insert a hair dryer into it. Put colorful feathers in the box. Place the box on a shelf and push it closer to the exit. Make sure you have the hair dryer ready to go. The thief breaks into the apartment and gets caught in the wrap like a fly in a spider web. A refreshing bonus, a bowl of water right on his head. The final stroke is a fun explosion of feathers. The thief can't understand what's going on. What is this sticky stuff? Where did the water come from? Why am I covered in feathers? Even his shoes are tightly stuck to the floor. But this guy doesn't get scared easily. He stops hiding his face and runs straight for the stairs. But there is another obstacle there. You will need some rubber bands. Get three bands at a time. Connect them together like this. Weave a chain. Tie one of the ends to the railing. Stretch it out and knock the thief down with pillows. Fire! Direct hit! The soft pillow doesn't just knock the guy down, but also confuses him. Meet our special weapon. It's a soft shell. Catch! The enemy is temporarily immobilized, but only for a little while. It's okay. The girls have everything under control. Do you want a banana? Help yourself. Scatter banana peels on the entryway. Without noticing the trick, the thief falls right on the floor. He's not doing so well. The girls are determined to catch him. He struggles to get to his feet, and the chase continues. But he doesn't have much time to run. The next trick takes him down again. Take two pieces of laminate. You also need silicate glue and glass beads. Fasten three balls on the reverse side of the laminate. Coat the front side with glue. The thief steps on the pieces of laminate and rolls on them like roller skates. What is this? I just got up, but I'm already lying on the floor again, and my feet are stuck. Whoops, looks like he's mad. Let's go hide. The thief is about to catch them. They are definitely here somewhere. The thief opens the doors and freezes in surprise. The girls are having tea, and the bear is with them at the table. What do you want? But it's too early to relax. For this idea, you need scissors, fishing line, and tape. Stretch the line across the doorway. Fasten the ends to the door frame using tape. Make several stretch strings. The thief rushes to his teddy goal. But the fishing line spoils all his plans. One invisible barrier and the thief falls right away. If only he could hug a soft pillow and relax from constantly falling. Sorry, but that's just a pipe dream. You're actually about to get a nice shower wake-up call. Wake up or you won't catch us. So, there is nowhere else to run. Call the police. We pretend to. Turn on a loud siren sound on your phone. Hopefully, it'll scare him. Loud sounds finally bring the thief to his senses. They are coming for me? What should I do? Now, take a hot pad, thumbtacks, and a hot glue gun. Coat the cap of the thumbtack with hot glue and fasten it to the fabric. Glue the buttons in rows. Cover the entire thing with spikes. Put it on the windowsill. The thief rushes to the window to get away, but falls into a prickly trap. His screams of pain and despair can be heard for miles. The thief is bruised and sad. It's time to handcuff him. Let's chain his leg to the radiator. The deed is done. The thief is harmless now. I wonder, does he at least feel bad? Okay, okay. As a consolation prize, you can have your bear. 
Did you like our life hacks for self-defense? Which one did you think was the funniest? Let us know in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to watch even more fun and unusual ideas from Troom Troom Select.